Hey everybody, welcome to the video. My name is Owen Fox and today I want to talk about nature and aligning with nature and what is and isn't natural and how we can learn from the natural world around us that has like God or source intelligence in it far wiser than most thinking human beings behave and get themselves into all sorts of like hassle and sicknesses and illnesses because we act so unnaturally. So today I want to say first of all I'm going to point out some of the unnatural practices that we do, which is, for example, like too many unnatural toothbrush, toothpaste, deodorant, um, shampoo and conditioner, um, eating when we're not even, the, all these chemicals in a household, like, they all, they all make us so, like, so polluted with chemicals that hurt, hurt us and, and harm us. So in my life, like looking at all the insects, animals and trees and cacti and flowers, they don't use anything unnatural, they just use Mother Earth. So when we, in the last 50 years or, or more, we've polluted the earth with like hundreds of thousands of chemicals and cancer has skyrocketed, like totally skyrocketed. So I just wanted to say, are you using unnatural substances in your house? And I live in a house, sure, so there's unnatural things, like even paint, like painters, unfortunately, so to speak, they, if anyone working in a job, um, they can get more pollutants into their body, so you have to be careful and you want to cleanse yourself more. But um, carpets, paint, um, dishwashers, clothes, washing your clothes, tablets or liquid, you want to get as, as close to natural things as possible, like from the health store, for, for example, or even like, for example, like lately for my hair, I've gotten an, an Ayurvedic Indian thing that's been used for thousands of years called shikakai or something like that. And it's just one ingredient and it moisturizes, it nourishes and cleans your head and your scalp. So it's, I'm looking forward to trying that. And before that, I was just using sometimes just like water and, bef and before I, I do an oil massage for like cleansing the scalp and stuff but another thing I notice in human beings is we eat complicated meals that are become an event whereas all animals in nature and insects there's no event we just they just eat when they're hungry they listen to their body humans have like become disconnected from their bodies we we stuff ourselves with food that isn't even really food like McDonald's, Big Macs, processed food, white flour, white rice, white bread. Even the healthy vegan or vegetarian dishes too, or even healthy raw food dishes, they can be so very unnatural. They're more natural than the super weird unnatural, but they're still unnatural as in... And I'm not trying to be too strict here, like I don't want to be too strict at all, like I'm not too strict and I'm not perfect. But I'm just sharing my thoughts. Let me bring it over to a, a loquat tree. It's called Biwa, Biwa Ki in Japanese, and it's called Neat, Neat Pro here on the island of La Palma in the Canaries. So come on with me. Thank you. This is the biggest one. So if you look at like birds and animals, you'll see the gen dogs, they generally eat like one thing at a time, uh, maybe two, but generally it's what's called a mono meal, like one thing at a time. And what this does is it affords our, our stomach and digestive system to fully send in the liquid formula to fully digest and extract all the nutrients from this food and fully simulate it into our body. But when we make a huge concoction of, of ingredients all in one meal, it becomes much harder to die, more complicated and harder for us to digest with our bodies. And it's harder for us to fully assimilate everything. So would you like to see the lemon tree? Here's a nice lemon tree. So, the more energy used for digestion, then the body has less energy to heal and cleanse itself of toxins, pollutants and unwanted substances in the body that cause sickness and non-optimal health. So. Animals only eat when they're hungry too, when they have a proper appetite, whereas humans eat for boredom or to, to numb emotions, to alleviate their pain or loneliness or sadness, etc., their emotions. And they also eat 
for social entertain for entertainment and to eat out of boredom we eat also to stimulate ourselves to get a kick or a high or a buzz and that's like, like stuff like co chocolate coffee all the drugs we eat for generally we eat to sedate or to stimulate that's what most people are eating raw food is a big improvement um, cooked food is unnaturally dehydrated it's concentrated unnaturally like a drug to <laughs> Yeah, that's another video is how addictive cooked food is, and that's just a, a realization or observation, but not a judgment. Cooking does, does seven major unnatural practices to a, a natural food that's naturally cooked by the sun, prepared over months, carefully. Um, cook, cooking destroys a lot of the vitamins, it destroys the living fiber which cleanses, absorbs toxins and living fiber makes us poop quickly so when you cook food poop stays in your body far longer unnaturally cooking destroys hormones that's helpful and healthy for us cooking destroys the oxygen in the food because little would you know but greens and other living food have oxygen cooking destroys the phytonutrient plant medicine in the food sometimes to a degree for sure cooking destroys the biophoton electromagnetic life force of the food which can be measured in clearly in photography it's our life essence um, cooking destroys enzymes, nearly all of them. So the only thing cooking only partially destroys apparently is vitamins. The rest of everything I mentioned there is destroyed. Cooking basically destroys the water, it, it evaporates it all. So what we're left with is a very suboptimal uh, food. So animals and insects don't cook, nothing cooks, only humans. Humans only stuff ourselves, we only eat to stimulate and sedate. So the reason I'm making this video, in case you're wondering, is to share my thoughts about maybe how, more, how you can become more natural, learn from nature, and to become healthier and happier. That's the objective of this video. So, so yeah, and also to get away from the unnatural, like the cause sickness. Like I'd, I'd rather you didn't get sick unless you wanted to, because I respect your free will. But generally speaking, I have it in my heart to try to become better in my own life. And I'd like for you to have the opportunity to become better too through this video and everything else you learn from too. So, some people are called call themselves naturalists or think of themselves as a bit of a naturalist. I think of myself as a little bit of a bit of a naturalist, although I know I do many unnatural things too, like wearing clothes. They, that's not naturally part of my body, for example. That said, I know if I live in a cooler environment and I don't have hair, I might need to wear clothes, obviously. But I try my best and I'm trying to like get more natural. And one of the things I realized today is that if you have toxins in your body, they you weren't born or you don't grow toxins. So if you've got te chemicals or congestion or a non-perfectly brilliant, pure functioning body, that's naturally the way you're supposed to be. So if you don't have these awesome things in yourself, that's unnatural. So what I'm thinking lately is I should focus more on cleansing my body of these unnatural pollutants and congestion and like my lymph system isn't perfect certain organs might be fully 100% like powerful I want to become more natural and that means wearing more natural f living like fibers like organic cotton or organic hemp I want to get more into nature I want I want to support natural companies so what you give your money to you actually make grow so if you give your money to like a supermarket you're making grow all the the companies and that, like for example meat factory farming meat that basically have no honor or bushido code or respect for mother earth they dumping so many chemicals into the land they're chopping down rainforests they're polluting the waterways with loads of chemicals and like feces from the factory farmed animals they're killing loads of fish polluting the waterways for human beings and um, if like, you have to be careful where you feed your money to i want to give my money to local farmers who produce as little waste as possible and use lit as little to no chemicals or pollutants as possible. So in my land I'd like to eventually like compost and recycle and live in alignment with not producing waste or as little as possible and um, growing my own food as much as possible and providing food or herbs and as um, to the community. We all, I think, in this earth would do good if we focused on how much waste we produce and how much we're recycling and how self-sustainable we are and how natural we are. The more we become natural, 
the more we'll have a healthy, fulfilling, happy, positive life. It's vitally important, in my opinion, to be aware of the principle of what's, na what's natural. So when I have chemicals in my body and old stuff from my previous diet and growing up in this polluted world, this it's not about being naked or going to a naked beach that makes you a naturalist. It's not about like being in nature either necessarily 100%. It's also about how natural your eating practices are and how naturally clean and pure and strong and fit and healthy your body would be naturally. So I'm going to get more into fasting. Urine fasting, water fasting, juice feasting, and simpler meals, eating when I'm actually really hungry, instead of just eating for fun, or boredom, or entertainment, or pleasure, pure, like, I want to do all of these things to truly bring my body back to its original natural state, and I think this would benefit everybody if they just at least kept this in mind, or practiced it a little bit or a lot in their life. Because at the end of the day, we live on a planet where we're all connected. So if you pollute the airways here with like loads of spray, like deodorant spray or fertilizer, loads of unnatural chemicals, or loads of like dirty fuel, we're affecting other people's quality of life and air and land as the rain comes down. So if we pollute, any pollution we do affects everybody because we're all connected physically on this earth. They say also we're also connected electromagnetically. Every second our heart is producing massive electromagnetic waves that travel across the world in a second. So that's a bit more esoteric slash energetical like stuff. Um, we're truly connected, so on a physical and energetical um, gross and subtle level. So I'd like you in this video to consider be producing less waste and polluting the place less. Think about other people and um, think about yourself primarily first of all you owe it to yourself to become more natural and this isn't like a religion or a philosophy it's just a fundamental natural thing it's like the bottom of the the core simplistic idea is nature that's we are natural beings but when we deviate from nature we become sick you know we act nat unnatural eat unnatural and live unnaturally like we become sick and Thinking of yourself only is also an unnatural practice, but thinking of yourself is natural. But thinking of yourself to the div to the exclusion of everybody else, like f everybody, I'm just going to be selfish and be living for pleasure alone. We're a community. Like even animals, like live and they live in a community. When you try to live on your own, you're going to die soon enough, basically, more generally speaking. So. Um. When you use anything else you want to add, I'll edit that part of the video. No. Mm -hmm. So anyway, I hope this video really helps. There's probably more I would have liked to say, but I encourage you to cleanse and heal and detoxify your body. Remove As your body removes the blockages, waste and toxins, it will heal and strengthen. So detoxification is the same thing as healing, basically speaking. It's not just like a fancy word for doing something like hippie-ish or like, like health fanatic. Detoxification is real, natural, responsible behavior. So, I hope you have a nice life and I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you go forward and do awesome things in your life. And my final word is that the body and the physical is just the tool, the instrument of your spirit. So, live a spirited life, follow your heart, be true to yourself above everything else, be honest with yourself and be honest with other people, especially starting with yourself. Love and look after yourself first and then you'll have the energy and ability to look after others and be kind. As you purify and clarify your mind and your heart, that's when you will naturally be loving. You don't have to try to be loving, you just naturally be loving as you heal and grow, okay? So make that your priority if you want to better. If you want to help the world grow up and heal and clean, clear your heart and mind and energy. And we'll all have a much nicer existence together. More fun, play, happiness, sharing, caring, creativity, art. Um, and it's so good. I really encourage you all to get naked if you can. Either in the house or at least especially in nature. Like in the sun or in the sea or a river. It's so healing and beautiful. It's so liberating. 
I spend a lot of my as much of my time as possible like naked. And um, I'll leave a video about urine therapy under the video too, which animals drink their own pee sometimes, and they drink each other's pee <laughs> when you're not when you're not looking. So <laughs> that's a totally different story and video, but it's a very interesting and powerful practice that I've come across, which I invite you to learn more with the link under the video. It's like help change my life and improve my life so much better. That's why I'm sharing it just to help you in your life possibly. Okay everybody, so I hope you liked the video and um, I'll see you again in another video and thanks for all the love, support and sharing and subscribing and anything else. Check out my links below and if, you want, if you're interested in more information about me, my website is below ownfox.org and my second website to charge and to heal and empower your body, mind, spirit is higherselfherbs.com you can see all that stuff below too. So I look forward to hearing from you and befriend me on Facebook as well. I'll see you there.